If you restrict calories, then you activate AMPK. And what happens there? You will basically now reprogram your metabolism and all sorts of good things happen which can be traced directly to AMPK. Not the drug, though drug just basically activates AMPK, but you can do it also by metabolic engineering. everyone and welcome back to the Wellness Zone podcast. I'm Mary Perry and I'm here with Dr. Barry Sears and today we're going to dive into a topic. We've talked about weight loss drugs, Dr. Sears, but today we're going to talk specifically about GLP-1 drugs. So is there a lot of hype to go along with all these, these new studies on GLP-1? Well, there's not a lot of hype, but there's a lot of interest. Uh, remember the, the drugs were originally developed for treating diabetes, but they found if they used higher levels, it was very good for treating obesity as well as heart disease, liver disease, kidney disease, sleep apnea, male fertility, female infertility, addiction, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's. Say, well, stop, stop, you're <laughs> killing me. How can one drug do so many things? And the comments from the, from the medical community or the pharmaceutical community say, it's a miracle. Well, maybe it's not quite such a miracle because all of these applications or all these benefits <clears throat> of taking these GPL-1 drugs really can be traced to one activating factor, the fact you're not hungry. And by not being hungry, what happens? You reduce calories. It's called calorie restriction. And if you reduce calories, what also happens? You activate AMPK. And so here becomes now a linkage. You have to explain an observation. And the linkage is, if you stop hunger, if you restrict calories, then you activate AMPK. And what happens there? You will basically now reprogram your metabolism and all sorts of good things happen which can be traced directly to AMPK. Not the drug, though drug just basically activates AMPK, but you can do it also by metabolic engineering. So Dr. Sears, the GLP-1 drugs work by activating AMP kinase. And so by activating that, that's where you're saying all of these benefits for all these different conditions come in is because people will make dietary changes, their satiety will be in queue. So really it's just the ability of activating AMPK that that's where you're seeing all these benefits stem from. Correct. And think of AMPK as the great and powerful Oz pushing the levers back and forth in every one of your 30 trillion cells. Now, if AMPK is tired. I'm saying, I'm, I'm too tired today. The levers aren't going to get pushed. And your metabolism suffers. And as a consequence, you begin to gain weight and develop chronic disease at an earlier age. Now, what happens if you basically pump up Mr. A and BK? All of a sudden, he's pulling the levers. And my goodness, basically, I'm in a state of wellness. So rather than saying a state of wellness is a state of mind, it's a state of metabolic efficiency. And if you can basically increase AMPK activity, whether it be by an injectable drug or more effectively by metabolic engineering, then you affect every chronic disease virtually known to medical science. So Dr. Sears, can we talk a little bit about things that activate AMPK and then things in the diet that we're doing that, you know, inhibit its activation? Well, let's talk about the things that activate AMPK. Uh, one is calorie restriction. Okay, but what happens if you're always hungry? That's not going to last very long. That's the benefits of drugs. Inject me once a week and I won't be hungry. But that's a short-term solution. You have to have a long-term solution. So that's why I invented the Zone Diet more than 30 years ago. Yes, to restrict calories without hunger and without fatigue. How? Well, because you're now balancing protein to carbohydrate to stabilize blood sugar levels and, more importantly, to release the hormones from the gut to go directly to the brain to say, stop eating. But as they say in infomercials, but there's more. There's more to basically now activating your metabolism. One is basically you have to have adequate levels of omega-3 fatty acids to reduce inflammation because excess inflammation at the cellular level also disrupts metabolism. And finally, you need to have some polyphenols. These are the chemicals that give fruits and vegetables their color but what they do, they're also indirect activators of AMPK. So what you have is now a system, not a magic drug, not a magic uh, nut uh, you know, nutritional pill, a system. 
a system that is personalized to the individual to maximize AMPK activity. So if you look at basically the GLP-1 drugs, they only do one part of it. They stop hunger. Great. But they do nothing to really stop inflammation or to basically reduce oxidative stress. That's why you need a system. So again, the GLP-1 drugs say, yes, they are magical because metabolism is magical. You just have to orchestrate it and maintain it in a zone. So really, Dr. Sears, if you can get that balance of protein to carbohydrate in the diet, you can get the calorie restriction, and then you have the polyphenols and the omega-3s that further help with the inflammation and activation of AMPK. So that's really where the system comes in. Exactly. Play. And a system that, guess, has no toxicity, and a system that basically says it's designed to work exactly as our metabolism has been, basically uh, has not evolved in, our, in the last 200,000 years and will probably be the same metabolism we have 200,000 years from now. So, Dr. Sears, changing your diet, you can feel the benefits of that within days, but are there other ways to measure the success of metabolic engineering? Well, uh, yes. Ch you know, you'll see the change to say, I'm not hungry, but that's not a scientific marker. What we're looking for are markers. How do you look to see if your metabolism is changing? Well, there is one marker. It's called insulin resistance. Mm -hmm. Now, frankly, it has nothing to do with insulin, but it has everything to do with efficiency of your metabolism. And that's been shown to be reduced dramatically within four days. Great news. I'm taking my, my tired old metabolism and retching it up to a new level of efficiency. Unfortunately, go back to your old diet, and basically you'll see your insulin resistance will now increase within four days. Mm -hmm. So what you're looking at this as not a miracle drug, it's a lifelong dietary program. Now, why do you want a lifelong dietary program? Well, to live longer and live better. And it's all controlled by your metabolism. And to think that a simple drug could basically orchestrate that is living in a fool's paradise. But that's what drug companies want you to believe, is saying, it's you know not your fault. Basically, uh, we, our scientists have basically solved your problem. Well, actually, it is your fault because basically you're going away and basically moving away from the things we are told to eat and why. We have to basically have basically reduced calories. Mm -hmm. Excess calories increase inflammation. You need omega-3 fatty acids to reduce the inflammation and help repair the tissue. And the final stage of that tissue repair is the polyphenols. So if these are not in your diet, your metabolism is not going to be effective. And Dr. Sears, if people want to learn more about the science of metabolic engineering or also the products that help to support it, where should they go? Well, I would recommend going to basically to learn about the science, drsears.com. Uh, I said earlier, metabolism is incredibly complex. What we try to do is basically reduce it, the complexity into understandable concepts. And from that point then, say, now I have a reason why I'm doing something. And relative to the products, we have products basically that help all three phases of metabolic engineering, and these can be found on zoneliving.com. So drsears.com is a site for science. And zoneliving.com is your site for the products that help you get into the zone and stay there as long as possible.